I have the privilege to converse with, I almost said it before it happened, but I'm predicting it, Sir El Camido Willett. I'm here with him as we would have heard the news recently of the passing of Alfred Corriott, former Montserrat, Leeward Islands and Cumberland Islands um, cricketer. Elko, you would have heard the news. Um, when you heard the news, what were your thoughts at the time of hearing the news? Uh, well, uh, I heard the news, what, two days ago, I think, I think it was my daughter, Sanel, that told me that she heard that Corriott had passed. I felt really bad because, you know, we got along really, really good when we played together. Well, when, even when I played against Montserrat, we still got along very good because, you know, playing for the Leewards and Combine Islands together, when we played against each other, we still got along very, very well. <laughs> okay. Um, memories, Elko. Memories in terms of actually playing against him. Your thoughts of him as a cricketer, firstly as a batsman, secondly as a bowler, and generally as an all-rounder? Yeah, well, as a batsman, he was a pretty good batsman. He, I think he actually made 100 in Trinidad against Trinidad one year. Okay. In, it was Shell Shield cricket then. I think he made 100. He was pretty aggressive with his batting. Fairly strong fellow, eh? Big sixes. <laughs> yeah, he some sixes here and there, but you dig into when there's need to. But, you know, he basically was aggressive. You know, guy was, I'll say, pretty strong at the ball, pretty hard and so on. And he was a decent medium fast bowler. I said medium fast because he might look medium pace, but he was pretty stiff. Okay. You know, because as I said, he was a pretty strong fellow and he was aggressive. He had that aggression, so he bowled pretty quickly. And in the field, he wasn't a bad fielder either. You know, he ran fairly fast in the field and so on, caught well and so. So he was a pretty good all round cricketer. Based on your assessment then, you believe that if things were different, maybe as easy as it is now to make West Indies team, then he could have, he had the potential. Yes, he had the potential, especially with the, the 2020 game around, with his mm -hmm. all-own ability. And the one the internationals, yeah, I think he would have had a chance. Speaking of West Indies, will it, um, I think I remember a conversation, we have had many conversations, <laughs> I think I remember a conversation with you way back when, and I think when that significant announcement was made, you told me that the person who brought the news to you first was Alf Corriott. Could, could you tell me about that? <laughs> oh, yes. We were playing Jamaica. I mean, in St. Vincent against Jamaica. He was feeling somewhere along the boundary line, and I heard the, the uproar, so to speak. You know, the person started jumping up and thing. I was one. I was wondering, you what's know, happening? What, what, what's happening? There was a fight up there. <laughs> <laughs> and then Corey told me that some folks in the in the crowd told him that Ed made West Indies team. So that is what caused them to, you know, to be so joyous mm -hmm. that that day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. And I'm certain he brought the news as a happy man for you. Yes, happy for of you. Of course, he was happy. Yeah. You know, because I said we get along very, very well. You know. So let's go back a little bit. I think it probably would have been 1971, but you could correct me. Nevis is playing against Montserrat at Grove Park then. And I think they went to lunch at 104 for one. And a certain gentleman by the name of El Camido Willett bowled them out. They only made 114. You, you, you remember where Alf Corriott, was he playing in that game? And you remember how he did in that game? I, I know he, he, he would have played, played, but I can't say what he did. Okay. Because I just said it since 1971. <laughs> okay, eh? that's a long time. <laughs> 50 okay. odd years ago. Yeah. But yeah, as you said, they had 104 for one and things didn't look so good for us. I, I was born from the southern end. I had none for 29 from the southern end and then I was shifted to the, the northern end. Did you, the ask, end. did you ask Ed to do it or you just, <laughs> he just did it? I think he just did it. Okay. I, I don't think I did ask. And I got eight wickets for two runs <laughs> from that end. I was an hat trick three times wow. and didn't get it. Wow. Somebody dropped a catch, <laughs> you know, and one of the hat tricks, you know. That was dope. But, you know, it's amazing. Oh, you know. That was an amazing day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, cricket is something else, really. Yeah. Sports yeah. in general. It's something you know. else. Yeah, eight for two runs. Wow. Yeah, so I finished with eight for 31. 31. Let's go back to Alf Corriott. You, I know you said he probably would have made a hundred in Trini against Trinidad, 
And I'm seeing something in, the, in his stats saying he made an 81 against a touring Australia team. What would be your most memorable moment with him in a match? Maybe batting with him, bowl, uh, watching him bowl. What probably stands out as a day when you said, boy, that man is something else? Well, that 100, as I told you, I'm almost certain that he made a 100 of Trinidad, in Trinidad. I can't remember in there, it might have been 75 or somewhere around there, but I, he, I think he made a 100 against Trinidad. It was a very good innings. Okay. You know, he's he been making like half centuries here and there, but that he went all the way that out. time and made a century. That, that inning stood out. He really batted well. And um, the Australia match, you, you recall if you were playing in that game? Because they say he made an 81 against a tour in Australia. I don't know if it's the same Australia team that you made your debut against. I'm not sure. Well, it could have been. I don't remember that, that innings okay. really, but most likely I would have been in that match. You know, whether it was 73 or a little later on. Okay. But most likely I would have been in that match. You know, but I don't remember him, you know, making that 81. Okay, so will it? Um, and here's a chance to maybe express condolences to his family as we mourn his loss. Another great man has passed on. Yeah, I'd like to express my sympathy to his bereaved families. I don't know how many he has left in Montserrat and so on, but I'd like to express my sympathy to his families that he has left. And I, I used to be in touch with him, but... I haven't been in touch with him lately, so I don't know how he stands with wife and children and mm -hmm. so on and so on, so you know, mm -hmm. who he has left, but, you know, as I said, I'd like to express my sympathies. Okay, well, thank you so much, Willet, for the memories, and we certainly look forward. You remember I started by saying, sir, this is 2023, we are looking forward to some good things happening, but I'm looking forward to some really good things happening this year, so all the best. Yeah, thank you very much.